What's up everyone? Now, if you've been following infrastructure projects in Africa, you might remember a few years back when Nigeria announced they were going to build a new bridge called the Second Niger Bridge. At the time, it was major news. The Niger Bridge was so critical for getting goods and people across Nigeria. Well, it's 2023 now and the Second Niger Bridge officially opened in May of this year. At about half a billion dollars in cost, this was one of the largest projects in Nigeria's history. So today I want to look back on the bridge and what it has accomplished. Did it live up to the hype and transform Nigeria like promised? Let's get into it. Alright, first let's set the scene here. The Niger River is one of the longest rivers in Africa. Within Nigeria, it connects the southern port cities to the northern half of the country. People and goods have to cross the river to reach major markets, ports and other oil operations on each side. But for the longest time, the only bridge over the mighty Niger River was this two-lane bridge built in 1965. As Nigeria grew over the decades into Africa's largest economy, this bridge became totally overwhelmed. Traffic backed up for miles just trying to get across and trucks had to wait for days sometimes. It was such a mess. So in 2018, the government finally launched this mega project to construct a brand new six-lane second Niger bridge to supplement the first small old bridge. This project was going to be a huge deal for the Nigerian infrastructure. Let's look at what exactly they built. The new bridge itself stretches over 1.6 kilometers and has a total of six lanes three in each direction. That tripled the capacity of the original bridge. Some of the cool design features are the dual spans over the river supported by big concrete pillars. The bridge sits high enough that huge barges can pass underneath without issues. And there is modern lighting plus tow boots on each side. In terms of location, the second Niger bridge is about 11 kilometers from the old one. It connects Asaba from the south to Onicha in the north. Strategically, this provided the most direct route between the major population centers on both sides of the river. On the Asaba side heading south, there is also several kilometers of six new lane access highways being built. This will allow way more traffic to flow on and off the bridge. So in a nutshell, the scope and engineering were impressive. But you are probably wondering, what were the impacts? and did it achieve its purpose? Well, after seeing the second Niger bridge in action, I'll say it's clearly transforming trade in Nigeria in some major ways. Let me explain. First off, it eliminated those brutal traffic jams at the river crossing. With six nice wide lanes, vehicles flow smoothly even at peak times, and the higher speed limits get trucks and cars across way faster than it used to be. Traffic congestion around Onecha and Asaba has been reduced too. For companies doing business, this is a godsend. No more wasting days stuck at the bridge, transport is quicker, and cargo arrives reliably. Agricultural goods from northern farms can reach the southern cities while still fresh. Oil from the south flows more efficiently from northern refineries and imports of flooded at the port head inland without delays. For regular Nigerians too, visiting family or doing business across the Niger is way faster. No more endless jams and the toll fees are reasonable. Experts estimate that the second Niger bridge could boost Nigeria GDP by billions per year through all this productivity and efficiency gains. That's huge. Now, I might project like this wasn't built without downsides. Construction did displace some communities and some feel $500 million price tag is excessive when other roads also need work. Critics argue the funds could have gone to public transit instead, which removes more cars from the road and there are concerns over long-term maintenance costs for the bridge. However, most still agreed that addressing this major bottleneck was crucial for Nigeria's commerce. The government saw the bridge as part of their broader mission to modernize infrastructure nationally and I'll admit, as an outsider who watched this ambitious project come to life over the past few years. It's been cool to see. It proves Africa can build outstanding modern engineering that unlocks economic potential. For me, this project showcases how strategic infrastructure spending, when done right, can transform economies. Do you think projects like this are worth it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to support my mission of sharing uplifting stories. I'll be back soon with more episodes.